at some point gets ready for a dinner date with Dr. Feelgood. That's an odd ass moment. I know some of y'all done seen it before. Charles is trying to be supportive and understand him. I mean, hell, he had his fun. He like, I'm going to give you your space to do what you need to do. You know, figure your shit out. So he does. And so she does. Lucille goes on her date with the doctor. They get to dancing, kissing. All of a sudden, Dr. Maurice's phone start buzzing. Now, at the same time, T is also on a date with Markeisha. Some might say T and Mama both in places they shouldn't be tonight right now. But in the end, they both wind up in the same spot. <laughs> Go figure. Markeisha talking that her and T should plan a romantic vacation soon. He like, maybe later. My baby mom about to drop my second child and I need to chill for a little bit. <laughs> Some trifling. But you know, maybe after the baby get about two or three months. <laughs> we might be able to swing that. Markeisha face went flat as f Now, Markeisha thinking they ass about to go to some fancy restaurant. T take Markeisha to his spot, his restaurant. Guess she hadn't seen it yet. She like, I thought we were going to go someplace nice to eat. She batting 0 and 2 tonight. And it's looking like the bottom of the eighth, too. She getting there and turn off his phone and his beeper. She like, look. If the night going to be funky as it already is, I'm going to minimize the funkiness. Ain't going to be no interruptions. Turned all his shit off. Call came through on the landline in the restaurant. <laughs> the cook tells T, your baby mama in labor at your folks player. Markeisha sitting right there. <laughs> Everybody in that place was looking silly. T get the dipping the hell up out of there. Markeisha like, what, no ride? You gonna leave me here to fend for myself on a ride home? T like, man, I got to bounce. Joe, take care of her. Which basically means take her to wherever she wanna go. Now that same call around the same time went to the good doctor while he was on his date with Lucille. That was Nikki on his beeper. She like, I found your card on my mom's nightstand. <laughs> we need your help. <laughs> LaWanda in the background moaning and groaning. It's almost like Nikki got a little get back. You know, like she found a card on her mom's nightstand. Why the card on the nightstand? Anyway, Lucille and the doctor get to the house. Nikki like 911 was late and no neighbors were around. So I had to call who I had to call. Doctor gets to delivering the baby. Charles walk in like, what the hell? Like he see the man who trying to take his woman away right now is in his living room. She was hella uncomfortable to watch. T come in after the baby was delivered. Come over to LaWanda. She like, back the f away from me. I know who you was just with. Your cook told me all the details. And you smell like old heifer. <laughs> Boy, bye. Conversation get a little heated between T and LaWanda. The good doctor like, hey, calm down, son. Charles take T outside. On the way out informs the doctor that T ain't his goddamn son. <laughs> In case he didn't know.
Nikki saw that baby being delivered. She ran upstairs and took the sh out of them birth control pills. <laughs> she ain't need no water or nothing. 